Hello everyone, welcome back to the cottage. Today we are working on storm prep. We've got some tornadic weather coming through tomorrow, so we want to get everything secured. And we thought we'd bring you along. Okay. So our first step is we're going to lay down all of our top heavy arbors that aren't really secure. We're going to secure our high tunnel. Actually, I'm just going to take it down. It's pretty much apart because of the wind that's already kicked in. Um, we've got row covers to pick up and put away. And then we're going to just make sure anything that can fly is buttoned down or laying flat so it's a little bit harder to pick up the wind. Okay, our row covers are tucked away. Our barn is going to be sound. Um, just in case we need to put people in. Um, usually our storms roll through at night. <laughs> oh goody. So our animals will be tucked away during the nighttime hours because we also live next to a huge game preserve. So it's just not safe that we feel to leave our animals out. So we'll have everyone tucked in. Our goats will be in here along with our ducks. Um, and we're going to work on picking violets before our dispatch fade away and then we're going to work on getting the rest of our tarps that we've been using um, stowed away in the garage. I am picking violets. Right, we pulled down the makeshift greenhouse because if it can catch the wind it's going to come up like a parachute and it'll take the arbor with it. So we're just going to pull this up and pack it in the garage so it doesn't end up a county over. Um, we get really bad straight line wind, so anything that can catch, anything more than that really can catch the wind and it's going to be blown over or broken in the process. So just keeping everything like an umbrella that could catch the wind and then pull needs to come down. We're going to use our compost bags to bag on the low side of our garden so in flooding we'll be diverted around it and not destroy our own patch. Again we're going to lay down our arbors so they don't break. These aren't secured to the ground so they can be blown over quite easily. or blown across the yard. Father God, we just come to you right now and we ask you for protection. We ask you to protect these fruit trees, protect our home, our animals, each and every one of the trees that we rely on for food, for blessing of others. We just ask you to protect them in this coming storm. Let we no weapon formed against us prosper, Lord. Keep the weather calm and the wind low, not just a gentle way and fall. Let nothing harm us or damage us or our neighbors, and let our harvest be good and plentiful this year, so that we may not only eat of the harvest, but give freely to others, to be able to trade with others that have other things that we need. Protect our animals, Father. This weather's pretty scary. We just need your hand to protect us and cover us, Lord. Tuck us under your wings. In Jesus' name, amen.